โอเคโอเคโอเคโอ้โหกดแต Thank you for joining us today, guys. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for having us. You're two of the guys here that have a really great relationship with each other. You have a very special bond. How do you even begin to describe that? Well, I think you know you guys are the twins, but we think that we actually have more of that role. We're in sync. Okay, we'll just say we have to be in sync. We're on the same page a lot, which which is didn't work at it. It just kind of happened. So. If you're going to be twins, you have to be fraternal twins, though. I'm not sure that you can pull off the identical. I'm not sure anybody would believe. Yeah, so you guys definitely got the whole identical part going, but we'll take the fraternal. As much as you joke about it, it's true. Like there's a level of being in sync and working together. Yeah, there's definitely a trust factor. I mean, sometimes the game's on the line, and and if you think about what we do, snap, hold, kick, that happens in 1.3 seconds. Our job's definitely black and white. It's either good or it's not. Everybody's watching you. There's not whole play developing, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of trust that goes into it. I mean. I'm not back there thinking, all right, Richie, let's make sure this is a good one. You know, it's just you just know it's going to be there, and then it's just reaction as you're stepping in. You can't live your life thinking about the things that could go wrong. That's some wisdom. It's like a great metaphor that you've just pulled out of your football situation that you can apply to everyday life. Absolutely. I don't think I'd be able to do what I do unless I didn't have the confidence in Richie or LP or our guys up front. I mean. Goes a long way. I love tea parties. He's saying so many nice things about. I don't me. say bad things. I, I think bad things. I just don't get them out there. And if we're going to continue sharing nice things about each other while we're enjoying tea, is there anything that you think that our nation doesn't know about, like you guys, about each other? Lewis is not going to be happy that I share this. All right, here we go. So Lewis is actually the tea king because he's actually from England, and I always asked him if I could hear the English accent, but he only talks in his English accent when he's with his parents. Parents are family. It's a habit I have. I'm just the way it goes. <laughs> Is there anything about him that our nation doesn't know that you think that they should know? Don't say anything. Richie's kind of the explorer. You know, he's been in a new spot, new city over the last two years. We spent quite a bit of time together, going out in the Gatineau Park and just doing stuff around the city. He likes to get out. He likes to explore what's going on, and that's, unless it's cold, then he. Yeah, then if he's it's gone. cold. That's that's one thing. But uh, that's one thing I do love about Ottawa is that. There's so much to admire about the city. There's a lot of culture, a lot of nooks and crannies that you get to explore and find, and uh, you know that's what it's all about. You know, you have an opportunity to live somewhere, you got to explore. So how do you deal with winter then? I don't. He says he'll stay and then he'll leave. I semi stayed last winter. I I was here, and then two was... weeks later, he's gone. Three weeks. Three weeks. All right. Before we let you guys go, we have to get you to spill a little bit more tea about each other, and you can answer as honestly as you'd like to. As you'd like to. As you'd like to. <laughs> a question for both of you. Has there been any funny nicknames that everybody has given to you guys as a dynamic duo? I have a personal favorite for him. Uh, St. Louis is my favorite. It's funny when we go golfing and spend activities together, we like to joke like, you know, Louis is the golfer, I'm the caddy. If, I, if, if we're at each other's houses, I'm the bartender, he's the patron. You know, it's just Lewis and Lewis's holder. I'm okay with yeah, that. That's, that's probably I'm okay with that. So Lewis, if Richie were to be a fictional character, TV, books, movies, whatever, what character would Richie be? I think it's a Johnny Bravo. You're only saying that because of my image, though. Personality, too. No, I don't know Johnny Bravo. I don't know. Talk to a lot of people, yeah. just kind of out there all the time. Social. Don't, yeah, social. It doesn't really, don't really care what other people think. Say what you want. Thanks, man. And Richie, finish this sentence. When Lewis dances, he looks like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> <laughs> when he dances? Yes, like he's the happiest person in the world. Lewis, does Richie have any hidden talents? I mean, he could sing. Don't do it. I can sing in the sense of I will sell out. I can't sing well. I don't think I have a good voice, but we'll put on a good show. But I will. I will sell out. So his hidden talent is karaoke. If you're going out for karaoke, yes. you want to invite Richie. Yes. Yes. That bring me along. Lewis, when was the last time that Richie made you laugh? We always have a laugh every day. Probably not laughing with Richie. It might be more laughing at Richie. He has some comments, Coach Dice, and we look at each other and shake our head and laugh. And 
That's Richie. I gotta say what's on my heart, and uh, sometimes people take it as a joke. <laughs> Gets him in trouble sometimes, <laughs> but. Yeah, especially with Coach Dice. I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> I think that's especially important in a season that hasn't gone as well as everybody would have liked, though, that they can still see that you're enjoying yourselves and you're still enjoying what you came out here to do is play football. And it is a privilege to be a part of the Red Blacks. I've, I've been in this league for four years now on a different team before, and people admire this place. People want to come and play here. And though, like you said, we're not having the same year as we did last year. It's a privilege to have an opportunity to come play here and the guys really, really feel that way. And we have one more. Can you tell us what Disney movie is most likely to make Lewis cry? I think this is a better question for him for me. Because he's not the, he's, I'm the, I'm the emotional cry. You hit that one right on the head, yeah. Maybe Cars. I did like that movie. There you go. That's a Disney movie. So let's reverse it. What, what Disney movie would make Richie cry? All, all the ones that are romantic. Yes. Yes, so pick your favorite romantic one and that'll make me cry. Is there anything else that you would like to chat about or discuss? It's just a beautiful day to admire Ottawa today with A and B. A and B, that was right. Yes. We can cheers to that. To All right. Cheers, ladies. Thank you very much for guys. joining us. Thank you. Cheers. Look at this.